Um, well, you guys know, my name is Bobby Borg, and uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you guys information, information that could be very useful to you, and I'm going to give you information based on uh, experiences uh, of mine, and of course, from years of being into the in, in the industry. So I decided that I was going to very, very simply put together my thoughts in a book, which I authored, called The Musician's Handbook, and it's actually been published by Billboard, and since then has become a, a bestseller for Billboard since 2003. There's a misconception about the advance, right? Anyone ever heard that word, advance, right? Advance. There's a, a nice sound to that, because it basically implies that someone's going to give you money in advance of you doing anything. Okay, why not? Sure, bring it on, right? Let's, let's bring it over. Um, but, you know, and there's also thoughts about, well, when we get the advance, we'll quit our job. When we get the advance, we'll buy the Porsche, all that good stuff. Well, what we should know, looking at point number one, is that an advance is treated like an, what's called an all-inclusive recording fund, all right? In other words, the recording fund that you're given is actually supposed to pay for all of your recording, all of the expenses. And what's left over from that is what's called the artist advance. All right, so we'll look at the ar uh, artist record royalty in point number two, all right? Now, our royalty was based on what's called the suggested retailer's price. The suggested retailer's price was $18.99, SRLP. Our royalty was 16%. So if you do the math, you might say, all right, well, 16% of $18.99, $3.03. Let's round down to $3. Wow, you know? We sell 100,000 records, which isn't a whole lot. That sounds like a pretty good deal to me, right? That's not so bad. Just imagine if we sell 500,000 records. That's a whole lot of money. So you get on the phone, you, know, you call mom, <laughs> you tell her, hey, guess what? We just signed this deal. For every record we sell, we're going to get $3. Of course, what do mothers say? You know, Son, I love you, right? What are they supposed to say? And of course, they're excited for you. We move on down the line. You come to learn that that royalty, the suggested retailer's price, bears sort of no reality whatsoever to what the record is actually sold. This is just a, a, a method by which they compute your royalties. So in other words, if you have a suggested retailer's price of $18.99 and they're multiplying it by 16%, it's not quite the way it works. They're now taking a series of deductions. And we'll look at package cost deduction. So you have $18.99, what they do is they minus 25% of that for the cost of the CD manufacturing, for the cost of the plastic, for the cost of the jewel case, for the cost of, of putting together the whole project. That's about $4.04 .04 or so, when in reality it costs maybe about 75%, uh, 75 cents rather per unit. So now you're down to a royalty base of $14.24. And now that's multiplied by your 16%, which gives you $2.27 per unit. So that's a little bit of a jump from $3.03. So you get back on the phone, dial up. So you know what, Mom? wasn't $3.03. It was actually it's $2.27. I love you. <laughs> it's like they're happy for you. All right? You move down the line now because we still aren't over. We're just getting started. There's something called an all in and net royalty right now. Okay, so what you do now, we keep in mind we're down to our royalty base of $14.24. But notice that we're not multiplying by 16% anymore. Why? because the royalty is called an all-inclusive royalty. So when you get a royalty of 16%, you're supposed to pay the producer from your 16%. Mm -hmm. So we don't have 16% anymore. We have to pay a producer. And the producer might want five, you might want six. Yeah, our producer wanted 4%. So now we're down to 12% from our 16% royalty. So 1424 times 12 is now down, uh, down to $1.70 per unit. Okay. So you pick up the phone, <laughs> you call mom, and I think you might decide to hang up at this point right now because you know it's probably going to keep on going in this direction. Standard free goods is another royalty deduction. You have 1424 now as our royalty base. 
minus 15% for something called standard free good. Essentially what a standard free good is, is it says that for every 100 records that we ship, we're gonna charge maybe for only 85 of those records. The 15 sort of records are called non-loyalty bearing records which basically means that we're gonna use it for the purpose of, you know, hey, you know, Mr. Retailer, we'll send you a 100 records and only charge you for 85 as sort of a purchasing incentive. Whether or not that's actually the incentive you're given is another story. You might be given a 3% incentive, a 5%, it doesn't matter if they're taking 15%. They are not going to pay you for 100% of your records, just 85% of the records, okay? So 1424 minus 15% is equal to 1210, which is a new royalty base. Now multiply that by 12% and you're down to $1.45. Now I'm gonna stop for a second and ask you guys, how many of you are going, I left algebra class like two hours ago, what the hell is this guy talking about? This is supposed to be the music business, it's supposed to be fun, it's supposed to be, glad. I thought this guy was gonna come in here and talk about these wild touring experiences and that kind of thing. Well, guess what? This is what it is. This is what it is, all right? Of course, it's just one part of it, but it's a very, very important part 